First, I'm gonna use my makeup wipe by Equate to clean up any excess makeup that I have on my face and just have my face looking nice, fresh, and clean for this makeup that we're about to do. Then, I'm gonna go with my primer. It is by Rimmel London. This will help my makeup to stay in place all night. We are gonna be adding makeup to the neck too, so I suggest putting some primer there too. Then going in with my Jumbo Eye Pencil by LA Colors in the color Seashells. I'm gonna do a mask around my eyes and I'm going to color it all in white. And then blend it in with a brush. Now with a regular brown pencil, I'm going to outline around the mask. Don't worry if your lines aren't precise because we will fix those later on. And then we're gonna draw some lines going across our face but staying inside the mask. This is basically like your rough draft before you start to paint the colors on your brick wall. Taking a purple jumbo eye pencil by LA Colors, I'm using the color Bikini Time, and I'm gonna fill in the first two lines, and then I'm gonna set it in with my purple eyeshadow by CoverGirl. Taking a darker purple eye pencil by Wet n Wild, I'm going to outline the edges of the mask, and then with a brush, I'm gonna blend it for a nice ombre effect. Taking my sky blue color by Wet n Wild, I'm going to fill in my third line and make sure to really fill in those eyebrows with that blue color. And then using my e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take the same blue color that looks similar to this eye pencil and I'm going to set it all in. Taking the same purple jumbo eye pencil by LA Colors that I used on the top part of my mask, I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom part. Same thing with the blue. Now since I didn't have a pink jumbo eye pencil, I decided to use my pink lipstick by NYC in Air Kiss. And I will be filling in the two middle lines. Using my e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take a light shimmery pink color and I'm going to set it on my eyes to give it a nice highlight. Taking my black liquid eyeliner by Rimmel London, I'm going to outline in my mask where the brown eye pencil used to be. With your liquid eyeliner, you are going to make some lines going down. This will be the bricks. Not all the lines are going straight across down because then it won't look like a brick wall. It will just look like squares on your face and that's not the look we're trying to go for. Then with a white eyeliner pencil by Wet n Wild, I'm going to outline on top of where the black is. This will make it look like the mask is popping out. And then on top of our forehead, we're going to make some shapes. You could put shapes, you could put letters. This will be the graffiti. And then you can use any jumbo eye pencil or liquid liner of any color and fill in the blobs that you have on your face. When you're all done filling it in, you can outline it with black eyeliner. For that cartoony look, graffiti, and add some shiny bit. My bad, my bad, my bad. Hello? What up? I'm doing the next face awards, duh, silly. I gotta get back to my makeup tutorial. I'll see you later. And then going back with that same brown eye pencil, you are going to basically do the same thing you did with the mask, make some lines going across and then some lines going down as if it was a brick wall. And then taking a smudge brush, you are going to smudge the lines just a little bit to make it look like the wall is dirty. And then going back with your eye pencil, you are going to redefine those lines to make it darker. And then taking a light brown eyeshadow, you are 
are going to just dab a little bit on each square. This is a highlight. I'm taking my Beauty Blender and my Makeup Mist and Setting Spray. I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender to make it damp. And then I will put on my foundation by Rima London and blend it well with my Beauty Blender. I will use my Stay Matte Setting Powder to set it all in. Now for the lips, I'm gonna use my EOS Lip Balm. And then, taking my purple eye pencil by Wet n Wild, I'm going to outline my lips. Yes, I know it's an eye pencil, but who cares? In makeup, there's no rules. Going back with my NYC Air Kiss lipstick, I'm going to dab a little bit in the middle for that ombre effect. Going back with my purple eye pencil just to outline the edges to make it perfect though. Now for the neck makeup. I'm going to go in with my brown eye pencil and do the same thing I was doing to my face. Make some bricks. Using the same color as from my mask, I will be copying it down to my neck. Instead of just making a harsh purple line, I'm going to feather it down my neck so it won't be so harsh. Just to make it blend into my skin, I will be using a fluffy brush to blend it well. And then outline it with liquid liner. Taking a small fluffy brush, I'm going to feather down those colors from my neck. Now for the fun part, I'm going to take my Eye Def by Hard Candy and it's a glitter eyeshadow and I will be putting it on the pink part of my neck. For some cartoons on your neck, I'm going to use my green liquid eyeliner by Milani in Infinite and I was planning on doing a four leaf clover but it ended up being just a green cloud so I added a smiley face at the end. When it comes to graffiti, really anything can be random. For the hair, since I have a lot going on with my face and I have bangs, I'm just going to clip up my bangs and just let my hair down. I'm going to get some hairspray and spray my edges in place. Who says hairspray is just for your hair? I'm going to use hairspray on my face and then getting some glitter from my local Walmart store, I'm going to set it all in my face to add some fun into this because glitter is fun. I can feel the fun already. And then taking my mascara by Roma London Lash Accelerator and Less, and I'm going to coat my lashes until they are long and perky. And that's it guys, this is my graffiti makeup look. I hope you guys loved it because I for sure loved it. This is my entry to the NYX Face Awards and I hope you guys loved it and please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video.